Well, hello again, YouTube. I thought I'd do a quick uh, update video on uh, some progress. I guess it's progress in that uh, I learned some things about the um, TT project. And uh, I think I've said in, in previous episodes about how um, I guess I'm learning more about exhaust design in theory, or at least listening to a bunch of conflicting and totally contradictory comments on uh, Facebook forums and, and Ducati forums about what works and what actually doesn't on uh, on these uh, two valve engines. And the debate is around two into one versus two into two versus the stock exhaust versus uh, even exhausts with totally separate um, uh, header pipes and no crossovers. So anyway, um, the uh, 600 engine is unique in that it has um, obviously a shorter uh, stroke than, than the 900, similar to the 750, but um, it comes around to um, header pipe uh, diameter, I suppose. So as I said previously, this is a lovely system. It's, it's titanium, there's some stainless steel. Brent did a beautiful job putting it all together. But I can't help but think, one, there's a horsepower compromise with the two into one design based on some uh, dyno work that other people have done. And two, uh, the header pipe diameter is only 34 millimeters, I believe. Um, and um, ideally, you know, larger, larger is better when you're looking at horsepower. So based on some suggestions and advice and tracking down part numbers, I bought this. Now, if you can see the, the part number there and you're a Ducati guru, you know that this is a very rare exhaust system. It only appeared on um, Ducati 620 SSIE bikes and I believe Ducati 800 SS bikes. So what it does is it'll fit the shorter stroke of the um, 620 or 600 cc engine. It has the correct um, exhaust manifold design and it's it's wider in, in that it's 40 millimeters. So uh, based on that suggestion, I, uh, I uh, tracked these down on eBay, uh, put in a cheeky bid, got them for a fair price. They're not absolutely perfect. Um, there was the typical uh, scrape here, but I've seen far worse and I've even seen collapse sections on these things. So I uh, got them earlier this week and went to fit them and what do you know, they fit the engine perfectly as you'd expect. However, there was a bunch of knock-on issues in terms of fitment. For one, on the passenger, sorry, not passenger side, but the left-hand side rear set, um, it fouled on um, the shift uh, pedal um, and then when I went to fit some uh, high mount exhausts over here that I tracked down and these aren't in great shape but they would have been perfect for track bike you can see there's the dent there um, they, they uh, again they're not in beautiful shape that's one thing I'd have to just let that go that they're not perfect but they're nice and, and high mount and get things out of the way and actually fit nice and tight to the rear swing arm so you're not grinding down um, the edges of the, of the um, collectors as, as uh, Super Sport Ducatis are often uh, prone to. But they actually sat them up almost too high and too far back on the frame. So anyway, the muffler was starting to to sit right here and and again you know any any engineering problem is solvable but um, it would have meant you know significantly modifying uh, the rear part of this uh, the rear part of this um, uh, it's not a subframe because it's bolted so the rear part of the frame to to mount these things and it just didn't it just didn't uh, seem right for you know the the extra I don't know one two three five horsepower I might uh, have uh, have generated by by um, using that exhaust system so in the end um, what I've got is some ideas around how eventually I might look at designing and fabricating my own two into one exhaust system uh, 
why would I do that to myself? Oh, I don't know, <laughs> because I'm a bit of an idiot. But, um, you know, again, it, it would be hard to objectively figure out um, how much more, you know, power you'd get and where, unless you compared one exhaust directly to the other and, and bolted things on and off. So anyway, um, this wasn't terribly expensive. Um, so I'll keep these these header pipes for uh, for future use. Unfortunately, they wouldn't work on um, a uh, a 900, but they would be a lovely upgrade for uh, an actually a 750 SS because a 750 SS did have the the narrower headers, so it would it would provide a nice little little horsepower bump. Or if you were building a project around a 620 engine or something like that, like the 620 Monster. So anyway. It was a bit of a shot in the dark. It was a bit of a risk. Uh, unfortunately, I had nothing like this to even mock up to try before I, I took the chance and, and bought the header pipes. So, you know, that's that's the thing, right? You try something and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, those high mount exhausts I have back there, I'll probably turn around and see if I can um, resell those to, uh, to someone who might be interested for, uh, again, they'll fit anything, they'll fit a, a 600, 750, 800, 900, 1000 cc SS bike and, and again they're not beautiful but they would be a perfect set for uh, for someone who had their bike on the track. So so while I was looking at this and adjusting this and thinking about this and, and that sort of thing um, I took a look at this, this isn't fully bolted down but I took a look at this and realized um, I could probably um, s s firm up or strengthen up this design by uh, by remaking this aluminum bracket here and then just extending it down to here. I'd also provide a bit of a cutout here so I can get at the the battery but you know something like that <coughs> excuse me bolted here and here and here and here on this side um, would provide a bit of a firmer um, mounting point for for uh, for the um, uh, seat or and that sort of thing so I might keep this um, this design here, or even extend this back a bit, uh, just again to provide me a bit more room for things to be mounted, so they're not all jammed up here in the corner. So, um, you know, th this is probably more a case of um, idle hands than than something I'm required to do or must happen. Uh, even though this has been again Canadian talking about the weather, bear with me. Even though this has been probably one of the warmest uh, winters on record, it seems to have gone on forever. And it's now uh, end of March. It's minus 13 outside. There's no end in the weather in sight. So um, <laughs> I might as well keep myself busy doing perhaps slightly unnecessary activities on the motorcycle until such time as it's warm enough to actually fire this up and keep playing with it for serious. So. Anyway, that's the update here. Again, bit of a disappointment. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, this was a loss, but maybe like an overtime loss rather than a blowout. Um, and uh, I'll uh, spend some time today, uh, you know, with, uh, with the ruler and the Sharpie marker and uh, cut out some aluminum for, uh, for a modified rear bracket piece there. So anyway, yeah, if the weather ever gets better, hopefully you'll see some videos of machines actually running the 848 is still under the cover because there's just no nothing more to do until it warms up and I can I can do the final bit of servicing prior to the first track day including uh, changing the oil swapping out the coolant um, I've actually got some silicone rad hoses for this thing AS3 uh, I'd love to go to Samco but they were three times the price and AS3 is getting better and better over time so I'll have those mounted up and give you a quick review of that uh, that installation so Anyway, depending on where you live and what your uh, latitude and longitude is, stay warm. And um, we'll uh, provide some updates soon. So it's the next day, and I thought I might as well show you the end result of that wee bracket I fabricated. Almost as an afterthought. Oh, I find the right one. Here we go. Um,
and I haven't got these all threaded down, I'm going to have to take this tail fairing off and on a hundred times, likely in the next little while. So, and then quarter turn faster, and she's off. So, so yeah, as you can see, what I ended up doing was adding these. Uh, ears uh, to this piece of the the bracket normally it was just this piece right here so it certainly makes it a heck of a lot more um, uh, steady on the bike itself um, you know there was a lot of movement before so this little bit helps um, same aluminum that I had off cuts from uh, a metal shop here in Brandon uh, Morningstar Metals you know one of those shops where you show up there with 10 bucks in your pocket and you root through their off cut bin and negotiate and and as long as you don't want a bill or need a bill they'll <laughs> they'll let you walk out with probably a bit more uh, product than than the value of what you're paying for so anyway this isn't high quality stuff um uh brent at ironcraft has has tried to weld uh this temper of aluminum that they have and it's not something common um so but it, it's certainly you know quote good enough for uh for minor structural pieces like this so and besides this was all done by uh, hand uh, i don't have a shear or a break so uh, i did use a, a like a little uh, mini sawzall with the right blade to cut this of course you get the curved corners by by drilling a hole with a large diameter hole saw here and it's got this nice little taper and the finish um, is a combination of the orbital uh, sander the devault one that i got and these edges too i finally got a chance to use my uh, detail belt sander and it works really well so so anyway um you know keeps it <laughs> keeps me busy for a couple hours on a on a saturday and uh, i think things uh, i think i think things will work out well um yeah so again back to the waiting game until the weather gets uh gets decent it's minus 20 celsius this morning with the wind chills so at this point we're in the in the winter doldrums where spring doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon but it will eventually so anyway that's the uh that's the uh start start and end piece so the neat thing about uh when you build your own you, you build something and then you realize over time with some thinking that certain things could be approved upon or adapted and luckily i have the the time and the tools not necessarily the skills to uh to fix something there so Anyway, that's it for uh, this update. Um, as usual, if you like my content, great. If you don't, too bad. Uh, it is what it is. So like and subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll have another update soon.